last section we're going to talk about on the Start Center is charts. As you can see, I don't have any charts set up. So let's set up a chart. On the right side of the chart section, you can see chart controls. This is where you can set up charts and add charts to your Start Center. So organization is CIL, which is the organization that I'm in. That's the information I want to see. So I'm going to leave that alone. Now chart type. So these might be a little different. Your company can add different charts and based on the information that you want to track. So right now I'm going to do work order cost by work order type. And that was really easy. I just clicked the down arrow and then I picked the chart type out there that I want to track by. So these are set up in months. You can see January through December for 2023. So I kind of see more information than that since it's only January of 2023. So right here, show year, you can toggle this on. And what it does, it gives me the previous year. So I can see 2022 and 2023. And down here in the ledger, I can see that 2022 is like this teal green color versus 2023, which is a blue. So on the right side, I want to change that and I want to make it quarters. So you can kind of see a little bit more, but the reason you're not seeing 2023 is because of the range that is associated. So don't be scared if you can't see the information. It just might be that you haven't spent that much money yet. Or depending on what the chart is, you just haven't reached those levels. So I want to change my work order type. I want to know a little bit more information about be about direct issue. How much of this cost was direct issue? I can see in quarter one in 2022, I spent $65 to direct issue. So depending on what you're looking for, you can change this information to display based on what type. But let's say maybe charts isn't working for your company and it's just not something you wanna look at. Up here, you can easily do the up arrow and it hides the charts field. Maybe you have more KPIs that you're looking at and that may be more important to what you're doing, but you can easily bring it back down by clicking down. It doesn't delete it or remove it, it just hides it. Now this does a refresh and you can refresh maybe the chart information that you have. And then if you save as default, whatever chart that you have that you want to see every time you open EAM, 